Good. Not bad. And you've gone through so much. I mean, is there a point where you're just like, sort you've of had like, enough? Yeah, like, just yes. gonna use it. Like, and will we see that, or will we see a softer side? Uh, well, it's definitely a desolate time for Lance. Um, and, you know, the demons are popping back up for him in light of the tragedy he's experiencing. And, um, yeah, all the stuff crap, really. <laughs> Do, do you enjoy playing all that crap? Because it's a lot as an actor to uh, get to do. Yeah, it's quite heavy actually. Um, you know, we're not working on a salt mine or anything, but at the same time, it does get a bit heavy. Oh, you know, grief. You did have the fun uh, relationship with uh, Mama Smooks. Yeah, it was interesting yeah. last year because it was it, it was it was a relatively happy Lance. You know, dead daughter aside. Um, but yeah, we're quite, and, and it was nice to sort of play with all those sort of different colours. But um, yeah, it's it, from going back to your question. I mean, yeah, from an actor point of view, it's, it's obviously challenging and fun to play, even if it is you know grief and misery. It's still fun to play somehow, you know, in terms of pushing yourself. But um, so yeah, it, it's nicer to do a scene like that than you know. Is this the point where you say to the writers, come on, give the guy a break? No, well, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> that's not going to happen for anybody. Um, uh, no, you know, it's always nice to see a bit of you know, juicy stuff on the, on the page. But, uh, the one episode I was concerned about last year was the episode, and they did it brilliantly, because of course they... It was the episode before Laurel's death. I think it was 18, the Bees one. Oh, yeah. And I remember seeing that, seeing the script for that, and thinking, what is this, like, episode of Seinfeld? It was all this comedy and slapstick and, you know, the uh, references, da 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 da. And I remember thinking, oh God, I'm really not looking forward to this, you know, all this sort of, sort of comedic element to it. But, it actually turned out to be a lot of fun, surprise, surprise, in the end, and was, you know, a stroke of genius from the writers in terms of getting everybody all happy and chirpy just before there's an arrow in the heart, you know. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're some good colour last year, isn't it? A bit of death and a bit of fun. Is there a point where you thought maybe it was your character well, there's a, I mean, you, since day one, that possibility exists. Obviously, there's only one person that's never going to die. And uh, I guess any of the rest of us can go at any point. Um, it's like life, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, one just sort of, I don't even think about it. Just like, well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, um, you know. And it was obviously very, mind you, it was kind of hilarious, really, because, uh, I, when was it, the first? Second, third episode, Damien Dark said, If you don't do this, your daughter's going to die. It was it was said about seven times throughout the season. She's gonna die, she's gonna die. And of course no one saw it coming. <laughs> it was hilarious, you look back, it was, it was completely telegraphed. But no no one thought it was coming or saw it coming and was you know hugely surprised. We were all hugely, hugely surprised when it happened. I miss Katie, I was working with her, you know, she's amazing, but um you know, if you're alive, you're alive, you're dead, you're dead. We've heard that there are going to be some new vigilantes in Star City. Ah, season. give them five minutes. <laughs> well, is, is Lance going to be involved with that? Is Lance going to go the vigilante actually, route? There is, well, yeah, there is going to be some involvement. In there's some interesting, um, I think the one thing they also do every, every year very well is you know, shifting the, the dynamics between all the characters, you know, who you hate, who you love, etc. And there's some really interesting uh, stuff. I'm working with some of the actors I've never really worked with before, you know, and um, it's nice seeing those characters suddenly going up. Who are you? What's your deal? You know, um, so there's a, some, some good stuff on that, there's, there's a few surprise sort of relationships. Thank you guys. Thanks. 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 Than